I'm Jeremy Johns, and welcome to my second home. You know, like anyone's home, including yours, there are certain rules of etiquette one's expected to abide by to enjoy your movie theater experience. So let's get into it. This is Awesome Tacular Theater Etiquette. Now, one thing I want to address here is another time-honored tradition of watching movies in the movie theater, and that is food. I'm not even talking about concessions candy because we know that shit is overpriced and you're just gonna smuggle that in anyway. I'll get to that in a second. I'm talking about the food, the chicken strips, the tater tots, the cheesy sticks. In terms of your diet, if you actively choose to eat at a movie theater, bye, you're gonna die in about 20 years. Nice knowing you. So, what to eat, when and why and how. I know there are some movie theaters out there that have upper class food we're talking, they have pasta carbonara and all that kind of shit. All right, first of all, if you're ordering high class food at a movie theater, it's not, it's shit. You know it's shit and just like concessions, it's overpriced shit. So don't even go there. Your max, your financial cap is crappy movie theater pizza, end of story. And even then, when they tell you that pizza's gonna take a few minutes to cook but we can deliver it to your auditorium, be an adult and stay there for the few minutes just to take your pizza and take it in there yourself. You're not tipping them. It's not even part of the etiquette. You're not buying overpriced concessions candy. I get that. So let's talk about smuggling in food and how to properly do it. What to smuggle? Very simple. Sweets, baggies of jelly beans, those are great too. Do not eat loud ass food. I know movie theaters out there, they sell nachos. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. That's a test. And every time you don't buy the nachos, you pass. And that brings us to when to start eating the food. More to the point, when to open the packages of the food. And it's very simple, folks, the movie trailers. Movie trailers have a lot of noise, a lot of music, a lot of explosions. Any trailer set will have at least one trailer with that. When it does, that's your time to open those crinkly packages without anyone actually knowing. Point is, if you're gonna smuggle food, don't make it loud. And don't look guilty right off the bat. Here's a little secret. The usher can't pat you down. They're 16 years old. They're minors. They're not cops. And don't smuggle a meal, for God's sakes. I mean, I know you stop by Subway, you get a foot long. Don't do that shit. If you need a plate and a fork, do that at home, goodbye. This is snack time right here. Also, food that smells. Everyone in that theater will hate your guts, and that's when you risk someone going out there, telling some usher that someone in there smuggled in food, then you get kicked out. You gotta play it incognito. Incognito means food that doesn't smell like tuna ass. And just because you don't need utensils doesn't mean you should just roll the dice and go for it. We're talking burritos. You know what I'm talking about. Just because you can eat a burrito in a movie theater doesn't mean you should eat a burrito in a movie theater. One, because you're gonna make a mess and that's that. Two, if you're on a first date with a girl and you eat a burrito, that's called the first and last date. You gotta play it smart, my friends. We're all living life here. No burritos in the movie theater. So that's it, pretty simple. Be aware of the people around you. Be aware of the rules. Be mindful of the etiquette. In other words, don't be a theater douche. 